Hey guys, BP back here. So after this morning's vid, I got this girl in here. That little thing was born, oh, 5.30. And I think it's 7.30 now. She was born outside, it's bloody cold. I threw her in the hot box for two hours. And I put her back with mom in that other pen. And mom had bunted her away. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? I was so upset. So I just, that's it. Straight into the friggin' maternity panel. Right in there. And there she is. Little baby sucking. So the cow that was in here, that was weak on the back end and laid on her calf, I moved her out of here. And I put her in this pen. Because we got a doctor on her for the next couple days. There she is in there. I'll get try and get a better shot through the door. There she be, right there. She's actually a pretty quiet girl, this one. And then, this afternoon, shortly after the vet left, went in, had lunch, had a coffee, came back out and checked, and this girl calved. And had herself a little boy. He might lose the tips of his ears. Like the vet and I walked through all the cows and never saw nothing. And with this freaking nasty weather, they're just dropping them, dropping them today. And so, and then in the meantime, while bedding the back barn here and stuff, and just checking on cattle. We brought these two in, because I think, well, I'm not 100% sure on the Brock, this older Brockle face girl, but that one, she really uttered up today. Look at that. And she's, pins are dropped, tail swishing. And so, so yeah, we're, I'm really expecting Heard a calf tonight. So, if not both of them. That other girl, she's an older girl and I'm sure she'll be fine on her own. This one, she's not a young cow. She's mid age. She's, what is she, five or six now? So, not an old cow by any means. She's got a lot of years in her. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm expecting her to calve here tonight for sure. And so, but what a difference the weather has done. Like, oh my God. Wait, I will take you guys this way and look, look at that. Snow. And so, and cold, guys. So we bedded this barn all area all down. There. See? And that ice, that water that we were pumping, remember how it was almost all the way to the friggin' door here? We pumped a lot of water out. And uh, there's still a little bit in there. But she froze over so hard that the tractor just about doesn't break through it. That's how hard it froze. Mm, so. so, yeah, that's what's happening here now. Maybe I'll take you guys real quick, make this a eight minute video again. We'll do a quick walkabout. This freaking wind bites the big one. You know, this weather doesn't bother me too much if it wasn't so bloody windy. Cause temperature wise, it's like, I don't know, minus nine Celsius or so. Which really isn't all that cold. But when you throw a friggin' 30, 40 K wind behind it, that minus nine becomes like minus friggin' 25 real fast. And so we got a couple of smart ones in here. They figured out how to use the calf shelter finally. And 
little one right there. Anything with a tag on its head of some sort means it's already been born from here for a couple of days. They sure are watching me, aren't they? So generally speaking, we run a Angus, Simmental, and Maine Anjou herd. There isn't much Maine left in the herd, but there's still a little bit. That's one of our Maine cows. But for the better part of it, now, it's uh, Angus Simmental. And yes, they can be a, a little on the aggressive side, especially since we basically just, they're range cows, guys. They're not, we don't baby these girls at all, so they can get pretty rangy. When we used to calve in January and February, I could walk through these girls and they wouldn't even move. Nothing, nothing would happen. But uh, when we moved to this end of March and April calving, we actually calved out in the pasture for a few years. And then when we did that, everybody went rangy. We got very protective when they go into labor and when they got a baby on their side. And it just seems like that trait just seems to carry through from mother to daughter. And so, but anyways, that's what's going on today, tonight. Looks like we might be up for a while checking on cows, but better be checking on cows than having problems, right? And we've as for myself, we've had enough problems this year that I don't need more. If I'm home, I'll nap during the day and the wife can check them during the day and I'll stay up all night and check during the night. So, because we don't need any more problems. But anyway, just thought I'd bring you back and show you that There, just thought I'd bring you back and show you that the world did, did not come to an end for us, that's for sure. The cows are still here. We didn't just get rid of them. I know I'm frustrated. You guys saw that this morning. But, uh, yeah, a couple more babies and life goes on and we move on. So, anyway, there you go. Thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Subscribe. And hopefully we'll... Have a couple more to show you in the morning. Talk to you later.